Guys, Resident Evil Chapter 2 is here in Dead by Daylight on the PTB. Today we're going to be playing Albert Wesker and with his three unique teachable perks. So without any further ado, let's get right into the first match. Midwich Elementary School, one of the best maps for killer. I do want to say I did edit this, so I am cutting out quite a lot of the boring stuff. We are going to find ourselves a Nia, which is always a good first chase. Now, I did actually have a game before this, and it was on McMillan's. It was a great game, but unfortunately, the FPS kind of messed up. But I am bringing you it on Midwich. Now, I am going to be a little bit more serious than some of my other videos, but there are going to be some edits into this. It, I just couldn't resist. Honestly, it was so fun, as we're going to go and catch ourselves the Nia injuring her. I'm going to see the animations here. It looks like she's disappeared here. Hello there. We found ourselves an Ada Wong. Hello. All right, so Ada and Rebecca are the two survivors that came into the Resident Evil chapter. Now, obviously as well, the Raccoon City Police Department did get its overhaul as well. We are gonna go and put Ada on the hook and we're gonna go and find ourselves. It sounds like someone's on this gen. Oh my God, that's absolutely terrifying. All right, let's see how this Euroboros bound attack is. Oh my god, that is insane. I love that do, uh, yeeting ourselves at Rebecca across the map. That is hilarious. It is indeed, Wesker. Poor performance indeed. That's some value, actually. Some nice value out of the new perk. I completely forgot what it's called. But it is a great perk. It allows you to see people for a fair amount of time whilst carrying. Cool. So someone looks like they're DC'd. So we're just going to get in chase with the Nia. And she is going to take a slap and go over this vault. And yeah, realistically, guys, this feels a lot like Blight slash Demo with more mobility. Because you're able to walk, as you can see around corners and then use the second attack or the bound to actually make distance honestly it was a whole lot of fun and also the second bound seems to be longer than the first bound from what i know you are able to almost like collateral players as well if you injure one player you can actually injure someone else if you knock them into them but we are going to put this near on the hook lovely and we're going to go for a nice little charge bound. As, as you can see there, you can have a little bit of time when you're not actually in bound, which is great. Looks like we find ourselves, it looks like another near. Oh, it's the second near. Yes. Is that all you Jeez. Honestly, yeah, it feels like Doomfist. Honestly, it feels like Doomfist from Overwatch. Doomfist from Overwatch imported into Dead by Daylight. But yes, realistically, this is very, very interesting. We're going to see if we can catch anyone off guard. We cannot. Someone else is here. It looks like ourselves the Rebecca. So she is going to take a nice free slap there. That is very lovely. We're going to go and see if we can get a nice little charge hit. And she does hit the dead hard. Fantastic dead hard, by the way. That was really, really nice. I'm going to open this up. I'm actually not going to hit her. We could have hit her. But I just want to see how this bound is. We're going to treat this almost like a nurse. So we're going to shake. Nice. Awesome. On the hook, she is going to go. And yes, I'm actually using the shake now like I do with a nurse blink. So that they don't see exactly where I go. I do want to say he is actually a whole load of fun. So I'm going to talk about the three unique teachable perks really fast. So we have superior anatomy. When a survivor performs a fast vault within eight meters of you, this perk activates. The next time you vault a window, your vault speed is increased by 40%. And this has a 30 second cooldown. Next, we have awakened awareness. When carrying a survivor, you can see the aura of other survivors within 20 meters of your position. Auras revealed that way stay visible for two seconds after you stop carrying the survivor. And last but not least, we have Terminus. When the Exegates are powered, this perk activates. While Terminus is active, injured, downed, and hooked survivors are inflicted with the broken status until the exit gates are opened. When the exit gates are open, survivors will stay broken for an additional 30 seconds. 
so it looks like we are gonna find ourselves the near here two nears but yes essentially you can also glide over pallets as well when you use it but it will consume one of your tokens down in the bottom and honestly, it is a whole load of fun. We're going to see if we can grab this near. No, we cannot. Unfortunate. It is really, really nice. It actually is a really nice movement. And honestly, I actually really enjoy Wesker. This is probably one of the only M1 killers that I actually arguably could say I kind of enjoy. But I'm not too sure if it's just because people don't know how to play against it. Nice. Awesome. It really feels like you're outplaying players as well because you can use it like almost not a nurse blink but predicting players around corners and we're gonna go and get the near on a hook but yes it feels like a very much a prediction thing we are gonna open up the door here upstairs i don't normally do this but i did hear someone up here sounds like someone is here it looks like the rebecca oh my god she didn't think i was gonna be here lovely yeah <laughs> Awesome. On the hook, you're gonna go. That is unfortunate. Dead you are. And wait, hello? Is this? No shot did this near. Just all right. There you go. You see the grab animation. You actually use the left arm to pull them out with the nice Euroboros. And it looks like we find ourselves both nears again straight away. I'm gonna use the charge bound. See if we can get a nice free hit through the door. I get hit on a sofa. Love that. She's going to give us a free hit anyway. So we're going to see how this is going to play out. And yes, guys, it is very, very easy. Like, it feels a lot easier. The movement feels great. And I really enjoy this. Nice. Slam. Okay, well, she disappeared into the locker, but that is not the point. On the hook you go. And it looks like we have the last survivor. So we found Hatch here. We're going to close hatch. We're going to find our last survivor, our last Nia. And there is the Terminus value here where they are broken. You can see that in the bottom left. And she is going to go down. Awesome. On the hook. And that is going to be it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me on my very first game of Wesker. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button. And if you guys want me to play Survivor, if this video can get 100 likes, then we will make a Survivor video for you guys. Thank you, guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.